Stage one of the Giro d'Italia, Matteo van der Poel won the first stage. He was the only overwhelming favourite, so no surprise in some ways. But anyway, let's go through the power data because this is a comically easy stage followed by a non-comically hard finish. So it's in Hungary uh, and you can just see like, so if you didn't watch it live, basically from kilometre zero, two Androni boys hopped off the front and that was that. And like, you know, they averaged 32k an hour. I, I assume this includes the neutralised section. Um, so if we look just here, it suddenly goes up to 34.5k an hour for the first 17k, average 78 watts, um, when the average heart rate is 77, so you know, not very hard, it doesn't really get much harder, you know, it goes up to 250 normalised here, apparently it's sort of a crosswind part throughout the whole whole day, but again, really not very hard um, at all, here again, like 240 normalised, and if you actually look in the run into the climb, it was actually even easier, is that 220 normalized? So what this all means <coughs> is that it's going to be a quick climb. So if we look at the very bottom of the running, you can see it starts to go up a little bit. There's a lot of sprint surges making sure they're in position. So this was the run into the final. So you can see they take a right hand turn onto the final climb. And you can see there's some sort of uh, accelerations into it. He actually had really good position um, with four or five guys in front of him. So if we look at the final climb, so from the right-hand corner, um, he obviously has some sort of power drop out here. You can see it's about 490 normalized, which is what I'm going to use just because I think the, the drop out here will, will take it. If we take away that and just do the last part, 480 watts for eight minutes. So 6.4 watts per kilo. So all in all, uh, a pretty decent performance, but nothing bonkers. But the thing to remember is obviously that, um, you know, it's very spiky towards the end. So the pace was ridden pretty Evenly, 440 watts, you know, 40 k's an hour, 3.5% is, is strong. Um, but what's really interesting is is more the final part. So Lawrence Nyssen attacked early on along with Leonard, Leonard Kemner, and then it started to become less controlled. So if we look up sort of lead up before uh, the sort of two k's here, you can see it's 465 watts. And Van der Poel said in his interview again that it was, it was quite spiky, and you can see it goes up to 900. It's not exactly smooth, but the bit that's really impressive is is obviously the last sprint. So coming into the last sort of 800 meters, 1K to go, it was really disorganized. There was a lot of people attacking like Formolo. Um, and you can see he had to do a big move here off 1100 watts to get back onto the wheel. Um, and then it was sort of like waiting, waiting, waiting. And then he went about the same time as Binyan Goodmay. Um, uh, and it was a really long sprint actually, a 35 second sprint at 850 watts. And it had a peak of 1100 watts. So if we look at actually his max uh, minute power, it was actually sort of like 720 watts, which is like 10 watts per kilo for the last minute. So you can see it was like a really hard effort having ridden at, you know, over six watts per kilo and then really just whacking out this last climb towards the end. Like at the end of the day, it's probably not thermonuclear numbers in terms of the fact of like you'd expect maybe him to whack out 1300 watts. But it was still, I think, just because the climb itself was actually ridden so hard um, because it was such an easy day. You think like 480 watts for him um, is pretty tough. Um, you know, it's like it's not easy 480 watts for eight minutes. Like obviously watts per kilo, not crazy, but he's a bigger boy. So, you know, that's why the watts per kilo aren't, aren't as bonkers on a fast climb like this. But you can see heart rate 199. I've never seen anything like that from Van der Poel. His heart rate is normally, you know, hits 201. So you can see he was really on the, on the verge of, uh, not the verge of death, but, you know, real close um, towards the end. But anyway, so that's the sort of performance you need to be doing to win a Giro stage. It's more like, you know, climb at 6.4 and then whack out 10 watts per kilo for the last minute with a peak of 1,100 watts. Um, it's pretty crazy. But you can see the sort of the, the effort before the climb, very, very easy. 3,000 kilojoules in over four hours. It really wasn't too hard. Um, average power, 180, normalized 233 before the final climb. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one.